Oil starvation is the primary killer of any road car engine that ends up on a racetrack. Now at the pointy end a full dry sump lubrication system is a great option but it's costly and it's also pretty complex to install. We're here with Ian from Canton Racing Products to talk about a potentially cheaper and easier solution which is the AccuSump. Now Ian, for a start, the AccuSump is not necessarily a new product by any stretch of the imagination. How long has it actually been in operation for? The AccuSump has been in operation for over 30 years. Our company's been in operation for 40 years. And I have a lot of racers and just consumers that have used this product for about that long. Um, it's a product I really stand behind, our company stands behind. Very simple, very reliable and you could use it for pretty much any application from street use to high performance racing. Okay, so let's start with a, a high level view of what the AccuSump system consists of and essentially how that functions. So the AccuSump consists of the AccuSump unit, which is essentially an oil accumulator that has air on one side and oil on the other side that's separated by a piston that's sealed. Then would be the mounting hardware. We offer steel bolt clamps and billet mounting clamps as well as a valving system, which could be simple as a manual ball valve. And we offer electric valves that have pressure switches, which the racer or the individual can control when the AccuSump will dump. Um, and it acts as a more efficient way to use the AccuSump. Okay, let's talk, before we get into the actual functionality operation, let's talk about how we need to go about installing one of these. Essentially, I'm assuming we need to get access to essentially the main oil feed into the engine. Is it a case of teeing off that? Uh, yeah, so one common way that we have people racers that um, do install the AccuSump is it can be teed off from a remote oiling system, whether or not it be a remote oil filter and or a cooler setup. It could be teed off from the return line and or it could be used in a port if the engine has a port for the oil galley. Um, it could be ported just right, right into there. That would be the simplest way. Do you have a recommendation on what hose size needs to be run? Uh, Dash 10 would be our recommended hose size. Um, you can go smaller, but since the AccuSump has an oil feed port of a half NPT, Dash 10 is the closest inner diameter to Dash 10 or a half NPT rather. Okay, it makes sense. I mean, Dash 10 is a pretty common size for plumbing in remote oil filters or oil coolers, so no, no big challenge in plumbing that in. Okay, let's talk about how the system operates. So as you mentioned, it, it acts as an oil accumulator, so it fills an operation with the engine oil just under normal oil pressure? Uh, yes, it does fill with the engine under normal oil pressure, and the AccuSump acts as a buffer when you're using a wet sump system when you get oil pan cavitation due to heavy slosh situations from pulling any kind of G's and or windage um, that foams up the oil and you might have oil pan cavitation through that and drop of pressure, the AccuSump will dump oil and oil pressure back into your oiling system so the oil pan can recover and at least the bearings and the engine is protected with a adequate amount of oil. Okay. Let's talk about how the system can be functioned because you mentioned it could be as simple as a manually controlled ball valve or an electronic valve. Now I'm guessing the ball valve, the driver's not going to notice a, a lack of oil pressure, reach around and, and maybe crack that, that ball valve open. So talk to us about the two options, why we would choose one over the other and how they actually function. Yeah, so the manual ball valve, it would be mostly for a system and it depends on what application, of course. We have mostly people that do street, and drag racing applications that use the manual ball valve since the runs are so short. So the capacity of the unit really doesn't need to be managed as much. Um, so there will be plenty of volume in there, let's say for at launch and maybe when someone pulls the chute when they're drag racing. In road, race, road racing, in situations where maybe we're doing a longer endurance racing, you might want to effectively control when the AccuSump dumps because you don't need the AccuSump to be releasing oil necessarily when there's always a pressure drop. It's only when there's a substantial pressure loss or pressure drop that you want the AccuSump to be fulfilling its needs and supplying your oiling system with oil. And that's the way that we tell people to use it. Um, and also it can be controlled. It has the nice way if you have an onboard computer or ECU, it can be controlled by RPM dependent or oil pressure dependent. So it's a nice it's a nice system. Working. So in, in, in essence, there's a, a bunch of different ways we can function it to suit our own requirements. Uh, now, the other aspect of the AccuSump is that it is pressurized on one side of that piston with, with air. So tell us why that's necessary, how that works, what sort of pressure should be in there. Gotcha. So it is necessary to have a pre-charge of air 
uh, one, so the unit doesn't hydraulically lock, and two, it will fill up to maximum capacity. And when the pressure does drop, um, the pressure on the air side will push the piston down, so it'll be a nice smooth um, pushing of the oil back into the system. Um, we recommend doing seven to 10. That is the optimal air pressure. To seven have, to 10 PSI. Yeah, seven to 10 PSI, sorry. Um, to fill up the AccuSump with the max amount of capacity. Of course, you can change that. Um, we don't recommend it just because it takes a little longer for the AccuSump to fill up. But and uh, inversely, if you do put more oil pressure, AccuSump will dump faster. Now this might be a, a difficult question to answer, mm -hmm. maybe if you can give us some ballparks, obviously it's going to depend a lot on the engine etc, but uh, with two quarts of oil in the AccuSump, you've got an indication of sort of how long that will protect the engine for, how, how long can we get a, away with uh, oil surge before it still becomes an issue? Gotcha, so depending on of course uh, pressures and how long you're going to be in a low pressure situation, the AccuSump can roughly supply um, with about 10 seconds. Um, also, depending on you know what the pressure is coming into the line from the AccuSump, that might be a little different. But for, for dumping, and I'm going from pre-oiling estimates, let's say a vehicle has zero PSI or near zero, um, it roughly supply with ten, about 10 seconds. And there's a substantial uh, amount of time. Now, the other element that I wanted to concentrate on here is the use of the AccuSump as a pre-oiler uh, particularly if we've got a, a car that only gets driven a handful of times a year, maybe uh, getting good oil flow through all of the bearings, all of the rotating assembly prior to start up can reduce wear. So how's the AccuSump work under those conditions? Uh, works very well. Um, that is a one, I, it could be a primary or a secondary function of the AccuSump. Like I said before, we have a lot of street enthusiasts and people that just like to protect their engine if they're going to be storing it for a long time, storing the vehicle for a long time. Um, AccuSump very easily can hold pressure for a long amount of time and the only thing you need to do is either you have electric or manual valve, uh, just you open up the valve before startup, adequately pumps oil in there, you get pressure and you protect yourself against having damage due to dry starts. And of course as soon as the engine's up and running it will refill the AccuSump again. Yes, yes, AccuSump will refill. Now, as I sort of alluded to at the start, I mean, this isn't a, a necessarily a replacement for a full dry sump system, but it is at literally cents on the dollars. Can you give us an indication of what sort of price point an AccuSump kit is going to be? Yep. Um, so for a kit, of course, depends on individual application. Some people might need electric, some people might need manual, different sizes, different bracketing, different plumbing. So we give a general estimate as a system in US dollars would be roughly 500 to $700. Uh, USD and that would be a complete system and you know the system for like you said with the dry sump um, it's very budget friendly and also can help bridge the gap between a wet sump system that is not adequate for your application and a dry sump system to, and it makes the wet sump system more than adequate enough to kind of handle your racing needs or your street enthusiast needs. So I mean it's not a solution that's going to be perfect for everyone but it is a viable solution probably for a large number of enthusiasts. If people want to find out more about the product where are they best to do so? Uh, the best to do so would be go to our website which is uh, Canton Racing Products that's www.cantonracingproducts.com or you can go to accusump.com A-C-C-U-S-U-M-P.com to learn more about the product itself. Perfect, thanks for your time Ian. No, no problem, thank you very much. If you liked that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson.